Now I've been waiting for this one. What is up, fellas? Today we're gonna be doing a super fun video. I'm really excited. I have, how many do I have? I swear I had nine. I swear I had 10. Anyways, today I have eight different cold brews, all from around Portland. I have some that are from chains. I have some that are from local, like super good Portland coffee shops. Portland is known for its coffee, also for its craft brew, but I'm in for the craft cold brew, you know? So I got eight different black coffees. I actually got nine, but I um, was carrying these all up to my apartment and <laughs> I had four stacked on top of each other and then of course wobbled and one splattered on the ground so sorry to sisters coffee you were going to be featured in this video but no more because now it's on the ground in my parking garage so I'm not really one to drink black coffee you know I'm more of a creamer kind of gal but I wanted to be like not biased at all because people use different types of creamer almond milk I wanted to get straight cold brew but I'm gonna do two different types of tests. So the first one I'm gonna do is just straight black coffee. I don't like black coffee, I really don't. So for some reason I feel like I'm not gonna like that. But <laughs> then I have some almond milk here that I'm gonna put in afterwards. I have some clear favorites. My favorite coffee shop of all time is Phil's and they don't have one here in Portland which makes me upset and I cry myself to sleep sometimes because of it but we're gonna make do with what we have. So here I've got eight different sizes of cold brew. Also cold brew is really expensive. The cheapest one was uh, from Pete's. Pete's and it was 2.75, and that was the cheapest. And some of them were like $5. I was like, what? It's literally just cold bean water. Anyways, I put these in no particular order. So here we go, all right. Starting off with this one. I have to remember where this is from. Let me take out my phone, because I wrote down to all the coffee shops I was gonna go to. These coffee shops were all in basically like Northwest or Southwest Portland. I didn't even go across the bridge to the east side, so. Okay, actually I do know. So this one is from 40 Pounds Coffee Bar, which is in, it's in downtown Portland. I've never been to this one. And it was like a cool vibe in there, but the real test, should have taken the lids off before I started this video. The real test is whether or not that this is good cold brew or not. Again, I'm not, I am study coffee. I don't really know anything about coffee. I just love cold brew, so. It's not bad. It tastes like an extremely regular cold brew. A little bit watered down, but that could just be because it's been a little while since I bought the coffee, though, though that was the last coffee shop I went to. My overall rating for 40 pounds cold brew, a six and a half out of 10. You know, I would definitely suck it down, but would I, am I like gonna make my way to go back there? Probably not. It's very standard, so. Next up, we've got good old Pete's. I'm not one to go to Pete's that often. It's not my go-to coffee shop, but you know, if I'm at the airport and there's a Pete's nearby and not a Starbucks, I'll go. It smells like iced coffee. Oh, okay. Very interesting. This one has more of a sour taste. It kind of tastes like iced coffee over cold brew. You know, it's just not as smooth, not as crisp. I would give it a six out of 10. Again, I like, I would drink any cold brew almost unless it was horrible. So a six, it's just, again, I wouldn't go out of my way to go to Pete's. Next up we've got Dutch Bros Cold Brew. Dutch Bros is known in many states as being a very like sugary milky drink place and their sugary milky drinks are amazing. But is their cold brew, their black cold brew, the girl like I swear looked at me like I was insane for going to Dutch Bros to get a black cold brew. But she did compliment my mask so their customer service, absolutely impeccable. Probably the nicest one that I've been to out of this coffee run, but also Sister's Coffee had a great conversation there. But again, sorry, your coffee's on the floor. All right, Dutch Bros Cold Brew, here we go. That's not cold brew. That's water. Do I need something to like cleanse my palate? Because 
My palate tastes like coffee. Let me take a swig of the almond milk first. Mmm! Okay, now that my palate is cleansed, let's get back to the dunk, not Duncan, the Dutch Bros cold brew. No. This, there's no, there's not coffee in this beverage. Um, this is 100% water, 3 out of 10. Again, would probably drink it, wouldn't throw it away if I bought it, but would never go back to Dutch Bros for their cold brew. Next up, we've got Stumptown. Stumptown is very well known in Portland because I think Portland is called Stumptown. I am a little nervous. I don't want to be biased. You know, I'm going into this with an open mind. I am open to trying anything, even if I have tried it before. You know, I'm going to try to not be biased. Stumptown, in my prior experience, hasn't been that great. I remember this one time in college, I got it at the airport and I was unwell after drinking their nitro cold brew. I literally felt like I was going to pass out. I don't know if that was from the caffeine or what it was, but I was not okay. So this is just a regular cold brew. Didn't want to go with the nitro because of the trauma I had from the last time I went. So we just went with the regular cold brew today, so... Why is that the best coffee shop in Portland? Maybe not the best, but the most like famous. Like Stumptown Roasters is like the go-to. Sorry if anyone that works at Stumptown or any, or any of these coffee shops watches this, but I'm just like curious because that cold brew is not good. It's one I would really have to force down a bit. Like it's, let me get a better, a better tasting profile. Three out of 10, again. Doesn't taste like water, I'll give you that, but it doesn't, it's like not smooth, it kind of tastes very earthy, and it's just not really my cup of tea. All right, moving on, this one is Snow Bunny. This one was the cutest coffee shop I went to actually, it's in the Pearl, and I've never been. So they've also got a cute little sticker on their coffee, I don't know if you can see that, but let's give it a shot. Okay, definitely not as earthy. Um, you can taste the cold brew in that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cleanse my palate. Okay, it's good. I would, I would go again for sure. It's, it's a tasty beverage. It wasn't super expensive, and it's, I would give it a seven out of ten. You know, it's not amazing. It's not like I need to go back. But if someone was like, hey. Do you want to make a trip to Snow Bunny and get a little coffee? I'd be like, yes, solid cold brew, you know? Next one, I'm gonna be super biased. I'm gonna try my best not to be. I'm gonna cleanse my palate before, you know, so I don't get any, any mix-ins here, but if anyone has watched my channel, especially since the beginning, you know, I love Starbucks cold brew. I love it. Like, I, w I would go to other coffee shops Hence why I went to nine of them today to try out the cold brew and I would return there if it was better than Starbucks coffee. So this is going to be the true test. Are any of these last two going to be better than Starbucks? Because leading up to this, none of these have proven that they're better than Starbucks. But it took all my willpower to only get a tall cold brew today. Okay, here we go. Maybe my palate's messed up, guys. This kind of tastes like gasoline. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is wrong with me? <gasps> I'm in shock. I genuinely am in shock. I was expecting to like be blown away by the Starbucks, but I'm not. It tastes like gasoline, kind of. Yeah, that really tastes like gasoline. It, feel, it tastes like car fuel, for sure. How can I even give this a bad rating? Like, I go there every day and I'm obsessed and talk about how I'm obsessed with it and it tastes like gasoline today. Maybe they gave me the wrong order. Maybe they gave me the gasoline order, not the regular cold brew. Oh, guys, that tastes like gasoline. Man, I might have to go with a fiver on that one. I'm genuinely confused. 
And I'm eating my words right now. I'm literally drinking my words out of that out of that beverage. I'm sorry to those who have disappointed. Um, like I said, I didn't want to go into this biased, and I didn't. I'm upset. I'm gonna have to think about this like a lot. I'm gonna go to bed thinking about this tonight for sure. Moving on. I'm really upset. I'm gonna try to mentally recover from this. But next up, where was this from? Oh, this was from La Perlita. This was called the Flash Brew. Couldn't tell you what that means, but here we go. Unique flavor, right off the bat. Tastes like hints of like wood in there. Like fruity wood flavor. I'm really good, I'm a coffee connoisseur, so this is the most unique tasting out of all the beverages. It's pretty good, honestly, I would drink it. Like, it's just a very unique cold brew flavor. All right, seven and a half out of 10. Like, I would definitely go back and consume this. Just to get the unique flavor profile, which all these other ones have been lacking in that. So, except for the Starbucks, gasoline. All right, here we've got the, the smallest cold brew I've ever seen in my life. Um, this was the eight ounce from Barista. Barista is actually what, probably my favorite local coffee shop to Portland. Um, and I was like, sure, I'll get the small size, like a little eight ounce, I'm like, sure. And then they pulled out this, and I was like, this is eight ounces, this is a baby cup. But it's kind of cute, so, here we go. Woo! That one is potent. This one, like, you need creamer in this. If you drink this straight up, I don't know how. It's definitely a sour cold brew. It's like smooth, but it's really sour tasting. I would give this a five and a half out of 10, straight up. Now we're gonna go through all the coffees, but I'm gonna add a splash of almond milk because I need creamer in my coffee. Like I don't like sugar in my coffee, it makes me feel sick, but I need at least like a little bit of something something, you know? Whoa! I need a little bit of something something to make me tick. I'm gonna waste all of my almond milk. Ooh, we got a little foam on that one. I am out of almond milk, so I can't do a little uh, palate cleansing, but shall we start again? Let me grab a straw to mix these beverages. We're going back in with the 40 pounds coffee. Taste watery. Good though, it's like smooth. It's smooth and not bitter, and it doesn't make me go like this. So I would definitely suck this down, but I would also feel like I'm hydrating while doing it instead of dehydrating myself like normal. So I would give this a eight out of 10. Honestly, I'd go back, but here we go. It tastes salty. Like it's like savory. Does that make sense? Six out of 10. Did I even need to put almond milk in this one? Dutch Bros. Three out of 10, this isn't cold brew. It's still water, it, now it's almond milk water. I think they just put brown food dye in it to make you feel like you're drinking coffee, but there's none in there, so. If you wanna be hydrated, drink Dutch Bros cold brew. Stumptown, Portland's coffee shop. If you're from Portland and you're like, you missed this coffee shop, you missed this coffee shop, don't come at me, okay? I tried nine different places, <laughs> but let me know in the comments down below if you have any like favorite coffee shops here because I'm always down to try other ones. Maybe I'll do some ones on the east side next time. All right, Stumptown, here we go. No, no, it's not for me. It's a four out of 10. I would drink it probably, but I would not go back. I haven't made my way back to Stumptown since that one dreaded time in the airport. I wanted to redeem myself, you know, with another trip to some town, but it just didn't do it today. It didn't do it for me, sorry. I have high hopes for this one. Snow, Mr. Snow Bunny. This tastes like a cold brew that you would get if you went out into like, say, Alaska or something, and you went hiking and you found a river of like, clear water, and then you put some coffee beans in it, steeped it overnight, and then drank this. That's what it would taste like, if that makes sense. It's more of like a sweeter flavor. 7.5 out of 10. Okay. Biggest disappointment of the day. That's what the title of this video is gonna be. It's like, this may shock you. Starbucks cold brew. Oh my gosh. I'm genuinely upset. I am 
This has been life changing for me, this video. I think I needed this. I think I needed this revelation because I don't know if I'm gonna go to Starbucks every day anymore. It genuinely tastes like fuel that would go into your car. It doesn't really even taste like coffee. I'm upset. I'm upset. Four out of ten. Okay, moving on. La Perlita, the flash brew. Come on, don't let me down. Unique. I am repeating that this is unique. Definitely tastes like florally, woody, earthy tones to this. Tastes like a juice. Seven out of 10. If you want a different experience, get the flash brew from La Perlita. All right, and finale, the barista little mini brew. Definitely the strongest of all the cold brews here. I can see why you would only need an eight ounce, you know? Pretty smooth. Seven and a half out of 10. Barista's good. It's probably my favorite coffee shop locally here in Portland. What was my highest rating though? I think it was, uh, I think this low key took the cake. Did it? Okay, well I'll put all my final ratings here. So if you're ever in Portland, take my word for it, or you can go try nine different coffee shops and let me know what you think. I'm trying to decide what I'm gonna do with the rest of this coffee. Um, maybe I'll just drink it all day long. There is a 0% chance I sleep tonight. Zero, absolutely zero. My stomach is also gonna be in distress after this video. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This has been a very requested video actually, and I've been meaning to do it since the beginning of quarantine, so I'm glad I finally did it, put it to the test, and we made some really key discoveries today, guys. Like, really let me down here. Really let me down. So, honestly, my heart still belongs to Phil's Coffee, so if you live near Phil's and you have not been, go give it a try. This is not sponsored by Phil's, but man, Phil, if you're watching this, please sponsor me. Or get a coffee shop in Portland. You don't even need to sponsor me then. I'll be happy enough with a coffee shop near me every single day. So thank you guys for watching this episode of Vlogmas. Let me know down below what you guys thought of this episode or if you have any other recommendations for the 12 days of Vlogmas. I honestly might vlog even more just because why not, you know? Tis the season for vlogging. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. I have been doing outfits of the day, which... I'm trying to up my fashion game, so you can probably tell. Like the video if you enjoyed Vlogmas, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, fellas!